It's time for our product review, and this one is coming from our camper. I am so excited about this. So we had to go to Walmart for something, and we came across something that I've heard of, but I've never seen it in a store, and that is Lowry's Bacon Curls. Microwave pork rinds. We got two different flavors, original and hot and spicy. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we went to Walmart, and we found these microwave pork rinds. And we've actually heard of like where you could buy like little skins of microwave them or deep fry them. We never saw microwave ones. So deep fry one. But this is so fun. And the thing is, is we have a microwave in Eleanor, and we were like, what are we ever going to do with that other than maybe melt butter? Movie night. We, yeah, we don't do that. What are people, most people are going to do with a microwave in their camp? They're going to make popcorn, right? Yeah. Well, we don't do popcorn. So we got this microwave pork rind, chicharrones. Less than a dollar. Now, I can tell you without even looking at the ingredients. I'm sure there's like some MSG or something like that. Yeah. But for something like this, for our camping, like I'm okay with that. I think this is just fun. Yeah. So I got hot and spicy. You've got the original. Mm -hmm. It says less than one total gram of carbs per serving. Um, we're going to try these. Yep. Ready? Okay. I, I actually have already cooked them both up. It's real simple. You do it one minute. You want to start with original or? Let's start with original and then spicy. Okay. It does sm It does smell like a pork rind. You know, pork rind's got a smell to them. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to dink it. Looking for a good one. Dink. Wow. Nice. Really nice. Wow. Wow, that is wow, really wow. Nice. I want to go back and buy more now. We bought a lot. We bought 20 of them because I've never seen them before. But I want to go buy more. I mean, this is like awesome. Here's the thing you're camping. You want to have like pork rinds and a snack or something, but you only have X amount of room for storage. I like So this is small. I like that they're warm. And, yeah, they're hot. Right? They're nice, warm. That is fresh. That is fresh. I mean, Good salt. As fresh as you can get with a pork rind, right? Yeah. I like the salt. Wow. On this. But again, you're talking about storage-wise. This is all the room that it takes up. So if we get a bunch of them and just keep them in the camper, and we can enjoy some pork rinds when we come to Really camping. nice. Are you ready? Hot and spicy. Now, I don't know if these came out right, because I, I didn't know until after I opened the bag and started just like a popcorn, you're supposed to... Open it up, shake, shake the bag it. before you put it in the microwave until it kind of like loosen them up. Okay. So, ooh, they're not, they're not very spicy. Wait, I'm getting a little bit now. It's the tongue spice on the sides of the tongue is where the spice is ending up. Wow. It's actually a perfect amount. It's not like the kick your face, you know, kick in the face ones, mm -hmm. like the ones from uh, the Pork stupid and hop. Good, Stupid Hop, but there's some flavor. It's not a confusion with barbecue. Sometimes there's like a, a barbecue flavor and spicy, they, they try to pass them off as the I same have the, thing. I mean, I like them and that's normally what I want is the spicy, but I, I have to like, tell you... I like to do I'm salted. impressed with, normally I don't like plain pork rinds because they kind of got a funky smell to them, right? I mean, there's a smell. There's a good seasoning level on they these. They have a funky taste to them, but these are like good. Really good. Like, I, again, I normally don't like plain ones. You want to do five things? Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Let's get this like out of the shop because yeah. 
We only have a little bit of room. We will be eating these though. Yeah. Oh, we're going on a bike ride. Yeah. So number one is the ingredients. And uh, my glasses are in the car, so I think we're going to have to have you do that. I can help. All right, so I have right got the here. hot and spicy. The regular ones, pork rinds, maltodextrin, which you kind of knew was going to be there, salt, and less than 2% of natural flavorings, and then there's monosodium glutamate. MSG. So in the um, in the hot and spicy one, the added thing is paprika. Okay. That's what's making not, not bad. a little bit of a kick. So, yeah, MSG, some maltodextrin. I, I was expecting it to be in there. On an average time, like when we're getting pork rinds, I try to avoid that. But again, camping, the fact that we can store this little pouch in here, I'm going to eat them the once in a blue moon that we're here. And it's good. The best buy date on these, June 4th of 2022. Yeah, a lot of times we buy pork rinds. Like we have a bunch of pork rinds from Pork and Good and we didn't get to them. And they're not bad, but they're not like that optimal crunch when right. you eat them. So yeah. number two... Does a keto base on a nutrition label? I can do this one. All right. Okay, so a serving is a half an ounce. Ooh, that's interesting. That can't be right. It says there's three and a half servings in this bag. But there's a nice amount in that bag. That I, That's true, okay. I, we, have to, we have to remember that, like it's pork rind. So this bag is three and a half servings. Or it's, it's one, maybe two. We're gonna share the bag. We're gonna right? share it, so two. 80 calories per serving. 60 on this one. 60 on hot and spicy. Am I, I'm not reading that one, right? It says no, 80. it says 80. Okay. That's weird. 60 calories from fat. Um, six grams of fat. It's got six grams of protein. Less than one total carbohydrate per serving. So let's let's be real. If you eat the entire bag, and again, it's because it does have MSG and maltodextrin in it. If I eat the entire bag... I'm probably looking at about two and a half carbs. You say less than a carb, so it's somewhere between a half to one, three carbs. I'm gonna I'm gonna round it out. I'm gonna say I'm eating three carbs if I eat the whole bag by okay. myself. Okay. Before we but again, move on, camping snack. I'm good with that. Before we move on, my nutrition facts. This is the same package. Mine that has the hot and spicy in it. There's two grams of fat versus six grams of fat. Ten grams of protein versus six grams of protein. That seems weird to me. That's very weird. Maybe very, old very packaging, weird. new packaging, S the new... Saturated fat, 0.5 grams versus 2 grams. This is odd. I mean, it still says it's less than one uh, total carbohydrate per serving, but... I'm not counting the calories when I start eating but pork But this is rinds, the same package. There shouldn't be that much of a difference. Are they the same size? 1.75 ounces. ounces. All that should be added and different is... Paprika or little, whatever this that is a little weird. That's a very very weird thing number three How do they taste really really good? I'm like impressed. I'm impressed for something that you came out. I mean honestly If you, I'm probably eating these all the time if it wasn't for the fact that they have the MSG and the maltodextrin Because like there's something about it coming right out of the microwave and it is like fresh. Yeah, it's very nice very crunchy I think this is a really fun, you know, movie night snack. I think the kids would get a kick out of it because it looks like it's going to be popcorn and then it's pork rinds. And I have to tell you, I bought a bunch. Of, I bought mostly spicy, but I'll eat them. But I kind of want to go back and get some of the originals. The original is very nicely salted. Because we only bought like four packs of the original. And here's we the, never like original. And here's Who the thing. thought? While they're nice and hot, add whatever flavoring that you want that you have at home. You want more like. salt? Add some put Redmond's on it. Brown. You know, you could put the Redmond's, the new season salt. Oh Be my gosh, put the season salt on this. Because it's nice and hot when it comes out and it's still kind of like greasy. So yeah. it'll hold some seasoning. Yep. Number four, how much do they cost? Super cheap. 98 cents 98 a 98 cents a package. Yeah. So probably more money obviously than buying, you know, microwave popcorn, but we're not eating popcorn mm -hmm. and that is cheaper than buying a bag of pork rinds. Right, and it's now again, you don't have the cleanest of clean ingredients there, but for a snack, it's kind of fun. You're saying you don't have the cleanest of clean ingredients, but if you go to the store and buy the 99 cent bags or the dollar 50 bags of pork rinds, they usually all have maltodextrin in them anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So the ones that you're going to get that don't have the maltodextrin and the you know MSG and all the wonky ingredients, it's the ones like pork and good 
or 4505, right? The, the Epic brand. That See, now you're up to five or six dollars per bag for the ones with the cleaner ingredients. But if you go into Walmart and just buy whatever's on the shelf, they're all going to have the maltodextrin or the MSG and that kind of stuff. And you're more than a dollar a bag on that stuff. And here, it, with those, it's a crapshoot if they're fresh, right? Yeah. I've got them lots of times and they weren't fresh. Right. Here, you know they're going to be Super fresh. Super fresh. So number five, would, would we, we recommend, recommend it? it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I bought 20 bags. I'm really glad that you got them. They're going to last for a really long time. It's almost like we could add them to the Fear Factor thing because they're pretty shelf stable. Yeah, except for you need a microwave to cook them. Very true. That's a good idea. But I like that. So. Well, that's going to be today's review video. Now, if you like seeing product reviews like this, we have an entire playlist, which you can find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we find something delicious and cheap, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.